Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. So anyway, since last episode, I've been doing a bit of work, as you can probably tell. Um, I did get a bit more of the river ran, actually water, in through this area. I do have it blocked off right here for right now. Um, and that's of course so that it doesn't overflow into this area that's not finished. Um, we're going to get something today that's going to help out a lot with that. Um, I also went ahead and put a silo over here. It's not really for anything in particular. Just like our shipping container that's over there, it's more just for looks. Um, to kind of add a little bit of life to the town. There's a random torch there. That's just because I need the, the top lit to keep mobs away for right now. We'll be sorting lighting hopefully before too long because I don't want all these torches everywhere. But right now they're kind of a necessary evil. Um, I also got uh, some crates over here just for looks. I moved our waystone a little bit. And now to the fun part, I've been cleaning up this. I added a water wheel. You know, we talked about that a few episodes back. Sticking a water wheel on here. Right now it doesn't really have a, um, you know, any kind of a kinetic dynamo or anything like that that it's plugged up to. It's just kind of hanging out, spinning. And um, I may stick a kinetic dynamo in there. It doesn't really matter either way, but I might put one there. And then you can see back inside of there, I've kind of cleaned up our water wheels. Um... They're not flowing downwards. I didn't really like that original design that I had in my head. So I ended up changing it to this, which I think turned out pretty good. Um, now you can only see two of the three. One of them is completely hidden back there. And that's just because it really didn't fit um, with the way I wanted the water to sit. So I ended up just hiding that one away. But unfortunately with that, you can't like bend connections or anything like that. You pretty much have to do a straight shot. So that's fine. Over here, I did stick a little item pipe out here. Um, I'm probably going to spruce this up just a little bit, um, but basically just pumping out the water, maybe from the water wheels or something like that. It's clean water. It's not pollution. Don't worry. This is all green power inside this building, so it works. And then I kind of put our fan here behind these iron bars as well. Um, I did start adding on to this building, but I'm not using it yet. Um, that's just something that I'm kind of working up to. Um, oh, I did clean up on the inside of here a little bit, so we actually have the glass here, and um, I do have to put facades over there, but I'll get to that. Um, but did get that cleaned up a little bit, and also over here, um, you might notice that that water wheel and that water wheel are flowing in different directions. Um, this one's actually a negative two, and this one's a positive two. Um, they're both equally effective, but then over here, um, I've been working on this little area a little bit. I did do a willow tree. This is slightly custom because I started the, I put the dirt like right here and grew it because they grow so small normally. And I also added a little bit of leaves just to give it, because it didn't have a whole lot of leaves hanging down. It had like three bunches, so I added a bit of those um, to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. And then I uh, started on this, I'm going to get back to that, and then... Uh, worked over here a little bit. I also moved our nether portal and made it a little bit bigger. Oh, and I did this. Um, this is actually going to be a power bay a little bit later, kind of like a little power station. Um, once we get up to where we're making a bunch of Ender IO capacitor banks, then we're going to make like a big capacitor bank over there. Um, also, I did do a little bit of enchanting. So our Let's see, we had our Ashen Goggles enchanted last episode. Now we have Ashen Legs with Mending Protection 4, Tombstone Soulbound, and Unbreaking 3. Um, I also made us a pickaxe. I haven't put heat on this yet. I just haven't, I haven't made it over there. I've been meaning to. Uh, but anyway, it's got Fortune 3, Magnetic, and Efficiency 5. Magnetic means it automatically teleports into my inventory. Super nice. Um... And then I made us a Clockwork Battle Axe, which of course works as an axe as well. And this works as a shovel also, worth noting. Um, and then our Grand Hammer, I enchanted it with stuff from our um, mob farm. So we have Reaper 5, Life Steal 3, Looting 3, Scavenger 3, Sharpness 5, Headhunter 3, Decay, Capturing 5, and Magic Siphon 5. Um, so it's pretty solid hammer. It can get better as we add heat. I think I'm going to add the explosive to it because that way I've kind of got AOE damage on it. And then I'm, I'm really kind of tempted to put like knockback on it and then have this one is just like a straight damage thing because knockback would be kind of cool. Just like get away with like my big grand hammer, you know, but 
yeah so anyways that's what i've been working on we're almost gone with all of our tanker stuff as soon as we don't need to jump anymore this is going to be gone and we're going to be just using the grand hammer so this episode um i also did complete a couple quests uh first up water wheels we did that um also if we pop over to beta i went ahead and just knocked these quests out um because i just, I just crafted the things up and threw it in a um our storage drawer or our uh cabinets or uh our one things <laughs> for some reason the name escapes me right now um we will probably use a couple yaba barrels in places but nothing really comes to mind at the moment so let me just throw that into there and then lastly while i was working on that i researched this was awesome it was so much fun but everything is now research except for this stuff which i think we have to go I think we have to go to Landia, and I think that's, because some of these entries have, they talk about the lords of the elements or something. Like, this mod seems to have, like, some lore coming together. It just doesn't feel like it's filled out yet, maybe. Um, but I do think we go to Landia and we do some quests uh, for the lords um, once we go there. And I'm assuming that's probably where we get this stuff, too, the skills and abilities. I'm not sure. But anyways, I got through this. It actually wasn't too bad with our um, little system here. Um, and basically, I was able to just... I, I did set this up so that um, this pumped in from the top. So it would pump in the phytogenic or the phytogrow. And that way, I could let it sit and run while I was doing stuff. And I had roots in here, you know. And just let it run. And a stack of a stack of iron or live root and then left the extras would give us over three stacks of iron wood. So, I mean... It, it actually took probably about 1,300 or so. It was a lot. It was a ton of ironwood. Um, but really with that setup, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was bad clicking through all this stuff, but it wasn't bad on materials anyways. And by the way, you get, you get these unlocked. You actually get hit by like lightning. And at first I was like, wait, what's going on? Um, but if you recall, I only had light unlocked. And I was like researching through, and I think it was... It was either Thelos or Translocation, and I got hit by lightning, and then all the other crystals unlocked at that point. So, but yeah, so we've got all of that unlocked. So what we're going to do, the first thing that we're going to do, let's pop our quest book over to here. And the first thing we need to do is make all the crystals. Um, now, Mystical Flower Clusters, these are bright and dense. Dense is... Uh, coal yeah let's go ahead and start with the base crystals first and i'm going to make a few of these because i know we're going to need um, a fair few of them and i've got a bunch of simple crystals anyway so let's go ahead and do like three crafts of each one so there's some bright crystals there's some dense crystals um we're also going to need searing which is lava buckets we're going to need floating, which is nether quartz. So there's some searings, and then we'll get our floatings. And we'll get some quests completed here. Okay, and then I think we got two more, right? We have uh, damp, which is water buckets, and we have no that's uh, like one of all those things no it's not spacious it's dull so we need water buckets and we need obsidian and this is the last of my simple crystals but uh... oh well, we can make simple crystals like this not sure how much mana it takes but but there's our damp crystals and we'll give this just a second. There we go. And let me get one more craft of these. Okay, now we've got a few quests to turn in real quick. Okay, so these other three crystals, there's the Verdant, um, which takes the Mystical Flower Clusters, and then two of the Brides, two of the Denses. And actually, I think this is what we need for the Petal, yeah, the Petal Apothecary. Um, 
and we need it there also. Okay, well, to get our mystical flowers clusters, um, let's go ahead and pull up floral fertilizer. What's that take? Bright crystals to make that, and then any kind of dye. So let's go ahead and let's just grab lapis or bone meal would work too. I mean, we're gonna come. We're gonna be right back to this. I just uh, okay. There's floral fertilizer. Is the first quest there? And then Petal Apothecary and the Pure Daisy are the next thing. But let's pop out. Let's pop right over here. And let's just, boom, floral fertilizer that. I only got three, really. Three again. I'm getting unlucky. Let's go ahead and start cleaning some of these up. And I believe that the... Um, I believe the mystical flower seeds are tier two, so we're gonna have to actually get into a bit of Batania. Seems like I'm getting a little bit of lag. My ping is good. Okay, I've got all but one color. Um, I think that's okay for right now. And then what we're going to do, let's take like these reds, these pinks, these magentas, and let's go ahead and just get ourselves some mystical flower clusters. And I want to see, I believe that's a tier two seed. So to actually get that, we're going to need Prudentium. And to get Prudentium, we need Frisian and, um, and a Mana Diamond. Yeah, it's not too bad, though. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's pop over. And let's see. First and foremost, I want to do... The verdant crystals, because we're going to have to have those. So that's mystical flower and then the bright, the dense. I may have made one extra of these. That doesn't really matter, but let's go ahead and get that. There we go. Go ahead and claim those. And then for the, let's just pull up the petal apothecary. There is our petal apothecary. And then to get our, let me grab this bone meal. And do I have any shears on me? Yes, I do. All right, so what we're going to do, let's go ahead and get our mystical petals. Let's grab, oh, we're going to be doing the white ones, of course, because we need white ones. We need them for the pure daisy. I didn't check the recipe, but I'm going to bet it's probably standard. And I'm going to go ahead and go for like two of them. And I'm going to need some seeds. So what we're going to do, grab these clippers and my wheat's over here. So we're going to grab two clippings of wheat. Grab those seeds out and we'll set up our petal apothecary like right here for right now. Um, this may end up moving, but we'll see. And let's go ahead. Boom. Boom, there we go. There's our pure daisies. And if we pop over, there's our racks for that. Okay, so Living Wood and Living Rock, they have quests for that. And Living Wood, is that, uh, that is standard in this pack. And Living Rock is standard in this pack. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's just set this up there, there, and then we're going to switch back over to Lordcraft while this stuff's running and all that. Let's go ahead and just lay this out real quick. This is all very, very basic Batania. That's... Okay, we'll let that convert for a little bit. We'll have to get in some mana generation today as well. XP to mana is, uh, well, we'll need the Rune of Mana to do that, though. Okay, Endo Flame. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's actually, we'll come We'll come right back to Lordcraft, I promise. But let's go ahead and at least get some Endo Flame set up so we can start producing some mana. And we'll get the basics of Batania out of the way real quick. So that's uh, two brown, a red, and a light gray. 
that. That. And one more. Okay, so there's our three endo flames. And then this stuff should be done. Go ahead and gather that up. Gather that up. And let me get some more going. Okay, so endo flame, living rock, living wood. There we go, those are out of the way. Now the mana spreaders in this pack take verdant crystals and then just living wood. The mana pools take luminous crystals, which takes complex crystals and glowstone. Okay, and then we also need an Apothecary Cauldron, um, Infernal Claws. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, you pretty much just have to have a mob farm for that, <laughs> or go out and farm them, but well, let me go ahead and get a Mana Spreader. So there's that, and then for the... the Dense Crystals, we're going to need like Six. No. Let me see. I think we need like four complex crystals to make four luminous crystals. Yeah. And we can make the armor, which we probably will, which will reduce our, our crafting cost. But this stuff is kind of like free to make, I guess. I mean, it takes some materials or whatever, but, um, okay, 1,000 mana to craft. Go ahead and get that crafting for us. Seems like that takes a little while. We'll have to get the better forge here soon, I think. And we got the mana spreader, so we'll go ahead and turn that in. Mana spreader turntable. And then this. Yeah, if you put the mana into it while it's running, it'll go ahead and craft the next one. Then we need a little bit of glowstone. Let's go ahead. Oh no, it's in uh, this. That. There's our luminous crystals. And then we just need that. Uh, I mean, we could make a diluted mana pool, but I'd rather just go straight for the good mana pool. Um, this is going to require a cauldron. Okay, and then we need uh, two, three molten cores, two slime balls, two rib bones. For slime pearls, I mean. And we need like a couple of those. Okay, I think we've got everything that we, Yeah, I think we've got everything that we need for that. So infernal claws. Apothecary cauldron. Mana pool. There we go. And quest complete. Awesome stuff. And then, yeah, got mana still a plenty already. Okay, now before we set this up, let's go ahead and dump some coal into this factorizer. So we can get blocks of coal. There's better fuel sources, of course, but coal is easy for us. And we will automate this, but actually right now I just need a little bit of mana. I don't need a lot. So we'll go ahead and set that up. We will set that up. And I shouldn't even need a Wand of the Forest because that should just be directly going right into that. So and we'll just drop those down. And then we'll go boop, boop, boop. Okay, and that's going to start firing. Now, what's really, really nice is from our mob farm, we have, um, I have nine, almost ten stacks of black lotuses. I also have, um, somewhere about here, I got, uh, oh, right here. I have ten blacker lotuses, which are like the super powerful ones. 
But let's go ahead and just grab ourselves like a stack of black lotuses. Like at this point, mana, you could almost just produce mana from like mob farms. Because black, or, or black lotuses come from them. So we'll just go ahead. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then we'll just pop over. Let me get a diamond and let me get an ender pearl. Oh, by the way, this hammer gets, because it's got that headhunter enchant, um, it gets heads like crazy. Um, most, most things that I kill drop a head, basically. It's pretty insane. All right, and then we'll go ahead and get that, and we'll get that. Quest complete, and then there's one other quest we're going to knock out real quick. I don't actually need it right this second, but I just want to go ahead and do it. Oh, I need another Verdant Crystal just to get our basic Patania stuff set up. Right now, more than anything, I want it for, like, the Prudentium aspect, which we'll start getting into here soon, probably this episode. Well, no, because I've got to go to Landia first to do that, so we might. We'll see where we get to. That's actually specific. Um, it's not shapeless. Grab that, that, and quest complete. And that quest is very important to us, and I'll show you why that is. That is the quest that we have been waiting for. Not because of the contents of the quest, but because we now have 10 racks. If we come over here... Dun, dun, dun. Okay, here we go. Let's grab Let's grab so many racks that we have to dump off our inventory real quick. Okay, so we there is 12 stacks of racks there. What we are going to do, we're going to pop over to rewards and we are going to buy the flight totem. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Now, there, the, there's other forms of flight in this pack that are not expensive, like jetpacks and angel ring and all that. However, this thing is not going to take up an inventory slot. Technically, there's a chance we could drop it when we die, but we're rocking some pretty awesome armor. And if we have flight in combo with that, we will not die. Like, it's we're going to be hard-pressed to die. It's going to be like a big accident, like, oh, whoops. So, how much XP do we need? 83 player levels. Sounds good. I'll take it. There we go. 83 player levels. Uh, well, it's a little bit over, so let me get one extra. There we go. Okay. Now, we have flights. And out of curiosity, take off these, but yeah, that flight gives us uh, fall protection as well. Which that means, that means two amazing things are about to happen. First up, we can say goodbye to the slime boots. We now have ashen boots. And we could say goodbye to this long sword. We're now rocking the grand hammer full time in the blazing ray. Cinder staff, kind of, but not so much. I haven't used it a whole lot. I like the, I'm a blazing ray fan. I mean, this is just, boom, it's just really, really cool. So, but now we can actually fly up over our base. Look at this. This is always the most exciting part. Like, ah, uh, it's massive. But I think, I think it's going to look pretty cool once it's done. And now I can easily build out these riverbeds because building them like this has been a struggle. But the nice thing is there's no overhead with this ability thing. I know it sounds like it's steep, like, oh, 12 stacks of racks, but it's actually not bad, especially considering... We're about to hit the Free Rack City, which is, um, no, not there. There's a lot of racks to be earned there, though. Um, if I can find, oh, Delta. This is Free Rack City, which, as soon as we hit Prudentium, I mean, that's a lot of racks there. I still haven't done the Ice and the Zombie. There's a lot of racks in here. So, 
Yeah. And this thing, there's no overhead. I don't have to worry about chunk loading for Angel Ring or charging a jetpack or anything like that. I mean, I just got flights now. It's wonderful. Okay, so now that we've got that, we are going to pop back to Lordcraft because we have to go to Landia um, to actually progress with a lot of things. Um, and so, let's see. Winston Crafter... Then there's the Translocation Matrix. This is like the advanced forges and the void stuff, which I haven't got the research for that stuff yet. But I'm assuming that this takes us, the Lordic Void Crystal, I think, is probably what takes us to Landia or maybe the Ascension Matrix. So for the Translocation Matrix, um, it talks about, it sounds like it's like, like translocation, dislocation type stuff from other magic mods. Maybe you can move blocks or something. Um, we'll figure it out. Once we get it. So the void eye is gold ingot and a void interface. So we're going to need one of these. So there's that. And then we need the void eye, which is just a gold ingot. Oh, I've got to get used to these boots. Got to get used to having these things on. There we go, we'll get that crafting. And then I'm gonna need, uh, let me get like a couple more crafts of my light magic crystals. So there we go. There's our void eye. And then we need the translocation matrix, which is just an ender pearl. So that and that. Let me give it a little bit of mana. And we'll get that crafting. And then the translocation matrix is mana infused gem, mana infused ingots. We can also make it through here, which is where we're going to make it. Um, so these were mana infused shards and mana infused. That's mana infused dust. Okay. Let me get out this stuff. That's done. So there's our translocation matrix. And I'm going to need like three crafts of this. And we're going to need these with diamonds as well. So let me go ahead and get a few more crafts of that running. And I'm going to need some more of this stuff. So that's... Oh, I'm going to start running out of simple crystals. I may need to actually craft some of these simple crystals. I can go out and mine them because they're actually super common. But I think this method right here, I don't know if it takes a thousand mana, but even if it does, it's not bad. Finishing up the last craft of this. I do want to upgrade our forge. At some point. Now, I know there's ways to speed all this up. Basically, we just have to get up to that point. Get a lot of these ingots. But I'm kind of wondering if we can't... Uh... Yeah, it's a thousand mana to craft this. But we'll get eight crystals. And I mean, glowstone's free. So, I mean, that's all we're really losing on this is glowstone at the end of the day. And we're getting better output. So... Um, I don't have a hopper on me, but out of curiosity, if I was to do that, ah, that won't plug up. I think I have to use like an actual automation thing. Okay, so there's a half stack of crystals. All right, so I'm going to need uh, torch berries. Let's see, it's torch berries and osmium dust. And out of curiosity, what in here... Yeah, see, we still need... It's the Lordic Void Crystal that you have to get for that quest. I don't know about... I'm really tempted to take these Cinder Jets. I think they're going to drive me insane. They're really, really cool, but... Uh, oh, I may not have any Torch Berries. Um... And if not, an easy way to farm these is Skeleton Druids, which are the guys that, uh, oh, we can't fly here. But the guys that live here, they'll have them as well. So, gosh, this pig is insane. And one of the really nice things about it is it's unbreakable. You know, it does take embers um, to run, and putting unbreaking on it... We'll probably make it take less ember. 
I just don't have the extra unbreaking I've been putting it on my armor, which actually has durability. So, and I found a nice little deposit of simple crystals. We'll go ahead and take those. And I think the next whoop farm that we do, which I'm going to be working on one in the next couple days, and I think the next whoop farm that we're going to do is going to be a skeleton druid whoop farm. Or it might be one that we can switch out, because um, I, well, really it wouldn't hurt for me to switch out the arcane golems at the moment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and warp on back home. And we might... So we've got the Wither Skeleton. We'll pop over here. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's go ahead... And go grab ourselves a Skeleton Druid. I've left that spawner there because I knew... Uh, that's why I never broke it. Is because I actually came here to farm some Torchberries once. And... I knew that we would need these guys. And torches, they, they don't really work on them, so. We just got that lit up so it's not dark here. Because I'm, like, just about backed up on archaic bricks. Maximum possible storage on that drawer that we've got, so. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and smack that guy. Okay, skeleton druid. There we go. Fully programmed Ender Shard. So we're going to need a controller core. Okay, so I've got that. Now, let me go ahead and get... So let's go ahead and get another thing of mana dust going. And that's actually enough for right now. So I can, I can wait a second. I know I'm going to need some more of that stuff. But that's enough for what we need to craft because I only need seven of these. And then I'm going to need... Six of those, and I'm going to need three diamonds, I believe. And so let's go ahead and throw that in there. Throw that in there and get that crafting. And then while that's running, let me go ahead and get... I'm pretty much using just light at the moment, which it really doesn't seem to matter. I mean, once you can make all the crystals, just whichever one's cheapest for, like, general crafting, I guess, is probably the way to go. But if you make the armor, you get cheaper crafting. I'm not that worried about it because I don't know what it costs. Yeah, it costs us mana-infused fabric. Maybe once we get uh, torchberries automated, once I make a woot farm for that. It might be worth it then, but... I'm going to run our Entity Profiler for just a minute because it seems like we're getting some lag from something. Okay, one second. I'm going to have to go fix this. Okay, it's been a little bit um, because I went to fix, fix that lag. It was just some setup issues that I had to fix. Um, and right as I was finishing up, this electric storm um, came through and... Uh, Basically, it was like it was like five minutes long, just enough to mess things up. And so, anyways, uh, I was trying to hurry up and get off my computer so I could unplug everything, and just you know, I had it plugged up into a surge protector. But as I was doing that, I heard a pop, and then shortly after, another pop. And anyways, it shot one of my monitors, my main monitor, and it shot my modem. So that was cool. And then I went to I went to Walmart because I was like, okay, I'm just gonna run and pick up another modem, you know, because it was like midnight and I run to Walmart and they close at 11 now because of the coronavirus thing so <laughs> I had to wait till the next morning it was it was just a big headache and it was very very frustrating to say the least but anyways um it's been about two days since the last recording I guess and I did switch out our woot farm and if we pop down here and we take a look we are now running skeleton druids so I'm running those just so we can get some torch berries. So if we take a look over here, we have 213 stacks of torch berries. So we're pretty good on those. I will say, I mean, this has been filling up with a lot of just junk, these golden hoes. But honestly, I'm probably going to remove this soon because I don't think, I think we're probably going to be pretty good on torch berries for now. Um, I do believe. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's pop into here. And let's get ourselves some mana-infused dust. And we need to run a 
bit of this. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to feed this a little bit of power. I was like, I've got the mana infused ingots. I couldn't remember where we were at. I edited the footage already from the prior stuff, but it was the other day, so. All right, so there's our mana infused gems. And I was working on getting the translocation uh, matrix, or yeah, the translocation matrix. And we're gonna need to get ourselves an eye of Ender. And then to get our translocation matrix, it is this right here. There we go. Quest complete. And we do not get a reward from that quest. That's strange for this pack. It says, place the block and right clicking it will take you to the nexus. Must go to the nexus to continue research. This. Right click the marker on a block you want to move. Right click on the matrix to establish a link between the block and the matrix. Then activate the matrix with redstone signals and unlock the transform research. Okay, that's what that's for. Okay, so let me get let me get a couple things here. Let me get a lever. And we'll just grab a piece of cobblestone. And let's try this out. So if we put cobblestone down right there, we put our translocation matrix down right here. Redstone there. We right click and then Oh, and then right click on the translocation matrix. Shoop. And does that unlock? Uh, no, that didn't unlock transform. Um, what if it has to be like maybe grass? Because the picture looks like some kind of grass thing. There we go. Lordic grass. Says perhaps I was wrong to so hastily use this idea. It would seem that certain objects change when moved by the wave. I will need to be careful in case I lose something valuable. Regardless, the items formed from the displacement do have a strange feel to them and may be useful in advancing my work. Okay. And if we take a look here, there's the Ascension Matrix, which just requires a translocation matrix. The Drenched Crystal, the Heavy Crystal... These are all just uh, default, yeah. But I'm gonna need a massive amount of, I mean, I've got the luminous crystal already. Um, I guess we don't actually need the Lord at Grass, so I'm just gonna break it. Oh, and it actually, we can pick it up, okay. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. I love this pickaxe though. The magnetic is nice. And you know, if we went to get a maze breaker, we could vein mine with this pick and nothing would fall because it would all just shoot into my inventory. We'll go ahead and get that crafting up. And then I'm going to need uh, a bucket of water, a piece of coal, a bucket of lava. Like, I don't know, this mod seems like pretty A-OK. -okay. Oh, wait, I'm going to need way more than that. I don't know what I'm thinking. Because this only crafts like one at a time. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and get, boom, a whole bunch of bright crystals. And actually to make the, oh, okay, it's just like that. Okay, wonderful. But anyways, there's, there's a bunch of bright crystals now. And we'll just go ahead... And get this thing crafting. Oh, that's right. It's two per. I, I was counting as singles. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that just takes diamond and redstone. So I'm going to go ahead and do like 10 crafts maybe. Okay, and while that's running, let's go ahead. There's our drenched crystals. There is our scorching crystals. There is our heavy crystals. Okay, actually, I'm going to stop it right there for a minute. Let's go ahead. Get this thing going again. There we go. There's the last of our complex, complex crystals. There is our obscure crystal. And then to get our ascension matrix. Okay, it was in this. 
Let's go ahead research Thelos. Okay. Quest complete. All right, so it says place the block and right clicking it will take you to the Nexus. Must go to the Nexus to continue research. The other thing we need is the Void Crystal. You may learn more in the Lordcraft Knowledge Book. Research obtained by doing quests for the Nexus Overlords. And this is just the Man Unfused Ingots. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start running some of this. Just kind of in passing because I want to get the upgraded forge um, here soon, probably this episode. Okay, so if we place this thing down, and it's going to get moved probably to like a dedicated Lordcraft area, but if I place that down and just right click it, okay, I'm going to mark this as home, even though I guess we could do slash home to get back. This is where we ended up. And there's like different colors. Block of bright crystal. Oh. Can I, uh. Ah. Yeah, I can't break anything here. It's probably set so this dimension can't be broken in. Um, like, for example, if I place down. Oh, okay, it gets picked up immediately or removed immediately. Um, did I drop those? And it looks like I'm missing those two. I must have to do some quests for them. Okay, so anyways, the Overlord of Water says, Greetings, Thelos. I am pleased to meet you. I am Aqua, Overlord of Water. The others here would not trust you, but I have a plan that may change their minds. Do you wish to hear my plan? No. Uh, <laughs> Overlord of Fire. I'll speak to Aqua, Terra, and Air first. Okay. I do not trust the... Oh, okay. She's the only one that will talk to me right now. Okay. Sure. I'm glad that you wish to appease my siblings. I'm sure that they will trust you in time. Why don't they trust me? Your plan. or They ask uh, your plan. My plan is to make you my apprentice. You see, if you were to take on our customs, the others may then believe that you are not an enemy of ours. Do you accept? I accept. Good, I shall give you a task to prove yourself. Return here once you are done, and I shall reward you with your first spell. Uh, okay. Slay two spiders. Let me get a spell focus and a cash and some water experience. Okay. It shall be done. All right, so I guess now we have to leave. I'll be back. Good thing I've got this portal right here next to us. And I... There we go. Let's say, like, I can't seem to fly here. All right. Flight plus blazing ray. Makes life a very simple... Simple thing. Uh, ha, ha. There we go. I guess that's it. <laughs> Let's pop back through and see if uh, that worked. Um, view entry. Yes. How do I turn this in? May have to say, can I ask about quests? I wish to hand in a quest. Oh, great. Here are your rewards. Okay. I don't have any quests. Can I get a new quest? Uh, get a blaze rod. Shall be done. I want to get another quest. Oh, okay. I can only have one quest from her, I guess. But anyways, I got a cache, which gave me three or four dense crystals. And then we also got uh, a spell focus. I don't really know about that, but uh, I think we can put spells into it, maybe? We'll have to do some reading on that. Um, it seems like I'm just going to have to, like, yeah, these people don't trust me. And I'm going to have to work my way up. I think probably her, and then that guy, and then that guy, and then this guy. And then I probably got to do the other two and just keep, I guess, just keep doing quests. 
Um, let me go get a blaze rod. I don't know. The magic system has piqued my interest, but the... But I don't know about this. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Uh, Aqua's asked for my help. She wishes me to deal with the collection of some items. This should help me to gain favor. I don't really know where I can find my favor. But, uh... There you go. You have done well, and I now name you my apprentice. You are now eligible to learn your first water spell from me. I have given you your spell focus already. With that in hand, you shall be able to use your internal energy at, to heal yourself. It can even heal others as an alternate effect. Use it wisely. I shall. But wait, Delos, there's more. More? Indeed, there is more. I have a special task for you. Since you have proven yourself, I would like you to use your spell a number of times, but you must make sure that you only count the times in which it actually has effect when the target is injured. It should be noted that those of an undead nature may reject differently or react differently to its powers. It shall be done. Okay, we got a common cache. We got four floating crystals. And we can now cast spells somehow. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Cast rejuvenation. One of 25. Oh, I think it's... I think it's count. Yeah, it's counting that. Okay. I'm just rejuvenating here. And it seems like I can just hold it. And it's got like a little particle effect that comes up. Yeah. But I guess that's going to heal me. We've cast it 25 times. Okay. I want to hand it in. Ah, great. Heal your rewards. Thank you. Give me another quest. Here's your new assignment. Kill two zombies. Okay, and we got an uncommon cache that had something in it, which I don't know what it was, but it was something. And we got it. Okay, and can I talk to these guys now? It seems like I can take like six quests at once. Yeah, you've proven yourself, Thelos, I will admit. I doubted my sister at first, but you have certainly exceeded all my expectations. Uh, trust is rare these days. As I suspected, full of wisdom. Yes, I wish to learn from you. Yes, my sister did mention that you might. Alas, there is much work to be done. This will not be an easy task for you to undertake. Are you ready to train yourself to be one with the very thing upon which you stand? I am ready, Master Terra. Then we shall begin at once, my new apprentice. I shall do this. Okay, what am I doing? Because I don't know. Kill a zombie. Okay, kill a zombie and kill two zombies. And it seems like I already have... Wait a second. Why did it... Oh, this is my XP bar. To, like, level up with these people. Okay. I understand. Alright, I need to go kill a zombie. Thank goodness for the hunting dimension, because... I would be in a bad spot if it were not for the hunting dimension. Take off. Always takes a minute for it once to let me take off. Okay. Let's go pop back through. Okay, I have a quest for you. I wish I could just turn them in easy like that. Uh, I want to hand it in. Thank you. And I want to get a new quest. It shall be done. Kill two more zombies. Okay. And then over to this guy. I want to hand in this quest. Thank you. I want to get a new quest. It shall be done. We got to kill two spiders and kill two zombies. Okay. And I've got a spell focus for the fire guy. And I got... Uh, yeah, I got some crystals. I think floating and dance, maybe. Does this guy have quests yet for me? Yes. Thelos, you have kept me waiting. I'm Air, Overlord of Air. And I live as my element does, swift and ever-changing. Lords of Air are unbound, unlike the others around us. Uh... Blame your siblings for that. Though you are correct, your tone is not one which I find wholly promising. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry to have kept you. It was rude of me to sound so frustrated with you, for it was not your fault. It is I who should apologize. I wish to learn from you. I suspected as much, Aqua. 
Anaka spoke highly of you, and so I trust that you will make a worthy apprentice. We shall begin your training at once. Kill a spider. Okay. Kill a spider, kill two spiders, kill two zombies. Alright, I'm I'll be back. I really wish I could just like have a hunting dimension portal here. That would make my life so much easier. I'd heard this part was a little bit a little bit grindy. Um Because somebody had mentioned that like the research wasn't the worst part. I really wish like the quest. I wonder. I kind of wonder. I feel like this part could be really cool. If if maybe in the configs or content tweak or something like that, you could change the quests. That would make it actually pretty interesting. When it wasn't like, you know, like five second quests. I think that's the biggest kind of bore with this is because it's like go kill a zombie. Okay, you killed the zombie. Good job. And how oh, I only killed the zombies. I meant to kill spiders too, but I forgot. Yeah, let me just turn that in. Uh, it says, I'm pleased that you have continued your training thus far. I have another spell for you to try. It's called Whirlpool. It entraps and confuses targets in a radius of where you are looking. Good luck, Thelos. Okay. And cast Whirlpool 25 times. Okay. We got dull crystals. How do I change spells? I do not know. Ultimate effect. Primal ability. Quest journal. That's all there is in here. And then my period is your primal ability. I don't know what that really is. But here's the quest journal. I can see that. I just don't know how to get over to that. Seems that with the right amount of focus, I can store another form of energy within the void using these strange crystals. I'm not sure what the point of this is yet, but I believe that my other works can be enhanced in some way by this discovery. And then there's void matter. Okay, well. Oh, shift and scroll wheel did it. I don't know if there's other ways to do it, but. Anyways, I can uh, shoot these purple orbs. I'll have to try this on an enemy. You regen your like mana thing like super fast. It's like crazy. Like you can pretty much just spam it, more or less. All right, let me hand that in. You're not finished your current quest. How much? Oh, I haven't got any progress. Okay, so I'm actually going to need to use this on enemies. It was probably being buggy, um, probably because of my shifting scales, if I had to guess, and that's why the healing one was working, mm -hmm. because. Ugh. There we go. Shoom. Okay. Oh, quit hitting me. But luckily I can pull up the quest book here. So I've done it 16 out of 25 times. Oh wow, it does kind of like an AoE though. It seems like it's hitting... Yeah, it's hitting multiple people at the same time. So that's pretty cool. Okay, well, let me, uh, and I haven't checked with that one guy, the fire guy or whatever. I'm just going to call him, like, Red Ranger. I haven't checked with him yet. I keep forgetting, like, I'm just like, okay, I got a quest to go kill spiders, and I just take off running for him. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, lady, I'm done with this. Here you go. Ah, oh, great. Here are your rewards. I want a new quest. Okay. Over to this guy. I want to hand in a quest. And... I don't know. I think he gave me something, but I don't know what it was. And I just got a luminous crystal from that one. Kind of nifty. I'm getting, like, lots of free crystals from this, so... And I got an index. I don't know what that is. But, uh... Uh, cast stone shots. Alright. And before I do, I'm going to switch that over. What is an index? She wants me to kill four creepers. Okay.
I'm unable to cast the spell here. It probably like pulls up stone or something. He kind of like skipped his text there. Um, and I want to hand in a quest. Yeah. Can I get a new quest? Yeah. Okay, what about this guy? Ah, no, he won't let me. I have to like rank up with his like brothers and sisters. Uh, so what do I have to do? Kill two zombies, cast stone shot 25 times, and slay four creepers. All right, so what is this? Oh. Whoa! What in the world? I'm just like chucking blocks. Okay. Does that count? Yeah, I've cast it 25 times already. Pew, 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 pew. Here come the blocks. <laughs> it's not very accurate, but it's pretty cool. Like, honestly, this mod really reminds me of a mod called... Uh, Avatar, something about the iceberg or something. Um, it was actually a mod. I'm not like a big like Avatar anime fan or nothing like that, but um, I came across that mod when I was first looking at mods for the pack, you know. And I really considered that mod because it's 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 a really fun mod, but it needs polish, you know. And I feel like this mod could probably benefit from a little bit of polish. But overall, I don't I mean I don't think it's a terrible mod. The research I think is terrible. And I think these quests that I'm doing right now are kind of grindy for grindy's sake almost. Um, which I don't mind grindy stuff personally, so it doesn't really bother me. But I think if the quests were maybe a little bit more difficult or something like that, it would be a little bit more interesting. Uh, at least to me personally. I need to dump off some of this junk. This stuff. Okay, we should be done with our quest though. Um, but I'm probably going to cut for a little bit. Because it seems like I'm just going to have to do like a bunch of just these little quests. And I know it's probably not super entertaining for you guys to watch. Um, and the dialogue, I mean, they're pretty much just saying, Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? And, and then they give me like kind of quests. And they tell me about the spells and stuff like that. So, um... Yeah, I want to hand that in. Thanks. And I want to get another quest. Thanks. We'll see what these quests involve this time, and then we'll probably um, move on. And see, it's like he skips his dialogue. And I want to get a new quest. Thanks. Okay, and then this guy. I want to hand in this quest. It says, I'm glad that you're doing well. It's been a long while since I've had the pleasure of training one with such talent as a mage. Now to teach you your first spell, by focusing your mind and feeling the air currents around you, you should find yourself able to shift them, forcing them to drive your foes into the air. Okay, I'm sure I gotta cast 25 times. What about this guy? Is he like, not a jerk? Yeah. Greetings, Thelos. My name is Ignis Overlord of Fire. Your efforts so far in gaining the trust of my siblings have impressed me. You are now worthy of learning how to control fire like a true lord. However, my teachings will require some payment. I have some tasks for you. Of course you do. What sort of tasks? Well, I'm sure you've already visited my dimension, once known as the Realm of Fire, now known by another name, the Nether. There's a great corruption hanging over it. I would ask that you help me purge it. I will help you. Thank you, Thelos. Your first task will be to craft a soul crystal, Ignis, using a searing crystal and a void catalyst in a void workbench. The crystal will be able to absorb the souls of different mobs from the Nether by hitting them with it. Bring the crystal back to me once it's full so that I may determine the source of this corruption. Okay, I shall return. I don't know about what I'm doing, but we're about to find out. And we learned a spell, this this spell here that like throws them up in the air. Okay, so we need to get a void catalyst and a soul workbench or some something like that. Let's see. Our quests are kill two skeletons, kill two creepers, cast uplift 25 times, and collect one full soul crystal ignis. Ooh, am I going to have to do like these for like everybody or something? No, it seems like that's the only one. So we need a searing crystal and we need a... And we need a void workbench also, which is pure crystals... Yeah, I'm going to need a bunch of this Void Catalyst, which is Eyes of Ender and Mana-infused Shards, 
make void catalyst. Now I'm gonna need three there and I'm gonna need one there. And then we also have to get the advanced arcane workbench, which is eight of these, which I was already working on that for the one thingamajig. But I guess we'll just upgrade it to the void version pretty quick. So back over to here, jiggity jiggity. Let's do that. And I need to check the time on the video. It might actually be a wrapping up point. We might have to wait till next episode to do all this stuff. This is a little bit different, so we'll do this on camera. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to unlock light and dark before too long. But let me check on the time on the video real quick. Okay, yeah, it seems like it's about wrapping up point at the moment. So we are going to end out this episode here. I am going to get some stuff together because I think at the start of next episode, I'd like to get... The Advanced Lords Workbench, the Advanced Lords Forge, and then probably go ahead and make void versions of all this stuff. Because it seems like we just need pure crystals for this. Oh, wait, it's going to take... Oh, my God. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so for the void workbench and the void forge, we're going to need eight pure crystals each. Each pure crystal requiring three void crystals or uh, Void Catalysts, which are Mana Infused Shards and Eyes of Ender each. Okay, might be time to make Light Lord's Robes, I think. I'm starting to think. So I might get the stuff together for that, and I'll make up a bunch of Mana Infused Shards. Yeah, you get a 10% mana discount. Oh, but it's, it's plus 10% per piece, and then a 10% on top of that. So you're looking at like half mana cost if you wear the full set. All right, well, we'll get into that next episode. I actually think we're about at a point. I might play around in a test world just a little bit with this mod now because I kind of I kind of see what's going on, I guess. And we, I mean, as far as quests go, we've just about finished this out. But I want to see if there's a way to maybe automate the Void Workbench and, or the Void Forge beyond just a mechanical user. I don't know if this mod has a specific item in mind. A uh, mechanical user would be able to do it, I guess. But I don't know if it would pump, if we can pump items in. I'm going to play around in a test world and just see um, a little bit with this mod and play around with some of the items that I'm not familiar with at this point, I think. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this first look at Lordcraft. My first look. Maybe, you, I know, probably some of you guys have played around with it, but uh, it's my first time. So I hope you guys are enjoying it, and I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. So anyways, with that, we're going to end it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. If you're not already, to stay updated with when new videos come out, I'm going to be doing probably some building between this episode and next. I don't know, Animal Crossing comes out in like two days, so... <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens i'm gonna be playing a lot of animal crossing though i can promise you that so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope to see you guys next time until then as always do take care stay safe i'll see you guys then <laughs>